and uh, I have joining me now Hamza Abdullah, a former player in the NFL, a prominent Muslim sportsman here to pay your respects. Hamza Abdullah, thank you for being thank you very much with us. Me. Tell me, how are you remembering Muhammad Ali today? Um, no, just here to say a prayer for him and to say a prayer for us as a community and as a nation. Uh, because the world is better because of Muhammad Ali. He's done a lot for me personally, just as being an African American, being a Muslim American, uh, being a professional athlete, you know, showing us how to do things, how to carry ourselves on and off the field. So we're just here to pay our respects. So when you say that he's taught you a lot, what was the example to you from Muhammad uh, Ali? Two things. Uh, Muhammad Ali was true to himself and he was true to God. And he never wavered from that. And because of who he was and being true to himself, the people love him and you know when you look around Louisville and see how many people came from every parts of the world to come and say, pay their final respects it was just because he was true to himself and he was true to God. You're in the NFL, Muhammad Ali was a boxer, at, he was boxing in an era before African Americans even had legal civil rights. Can you even begin to imagine what it was like for him? No, because as being a as being one of the only Muslims in America when I first got to the NFL, you know, I saw the looks when I said I didn't eat pork. I got I saw the looks during Ramadan when I was fasting and playing football. So to be Muslim and to be African American, when you look up in the arena and no one in there is uh, African American, you're the only one. But they're there to see you. So he understood that and he used this platform not only for his own uh, betterment, but for the betterment of himself and his people. What does it mean to you, the fact that Muhammad Ali, who planned this day so carefully, planned this procession through the streets of his childhood home, through the streets where he grew up boxing, the fact that he wanted, the fact he was a proud American Muslim, to be central to it, what does that mean to you? It, it means that we have, we have a tough act to follow. You know, we're here. Uh, Muhammad Ali has passed on, but he's left a little bit of himself in all of us. That can we be the humanitarian that he was? Can we continue to love for our brother what we love for ourselves? Can we continue to put aside the face the the differences that we may have on the surface to get down to the deeper meaning and the deeper insight to touch the hearts and that's who Muhammad Ali is and was and God willing he's resting in peace. Is it hard for you though as a professional sportsman in an era where it's so commercialized now you all have endorsements is it hard to be true to yourself and to be true to the lesson of Muhammad Ali? Oh definitely because it's easy to go and sign a contract these you know hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars that kind of go against your belief but you can get a bigger house you can get a bigger car but those are the sacrifices you have to make to say you know no because Muhammad Ali was himself he sacrificed purses he sacrificed endorsements you know for the betterment of society for the betterment of himself and his family but also for the betterment of mankind so we have to tell ourselves that you know not all money is good money you know some things come with the strings attached and when you think that Muhammad Ali lost three years at the peak of his career because he couldn't box because of his opposition to being drafted to fight for the US Army in Vietnam what a sacrifice that was and I asked myself what athlete today would do the same thing I don't know if I'd be able to do that and I'm just being quite honest Muhammad Ali was that type of person he was special he knew the legacy that he was setting he knew the precedent he was setting and God willing, we have to follow that. We have to try to come together because no one person can uh, uh, can take the place of Muhammad Ali. But together, we can emulate just a little bit, and God willing, we can all be better for it. Is it a sadness to you, though, that as a black man, boxing was a way up for him, but boxing also was so damaging to him? You know, that's the sacrifice that uh, he made and that was the test that God presented to him. And we all have a test and we all have a task. And our lives will not end until we complete, we go through that test and we complete that task. Muhammad Ali's task is finished. And now it's our job to see what our test is that we're currently going through right now and to see what our task is, you know, why we were born, why we we're here. And as you go through your life in the NFL and in your family life, what is the inspiration that you'll carry with you from Muhammad Ali? Three things. Uh, the first thing is be true to yourself. You can't lie to yourself and be true to God. You can't lie to God. And then love for your brother what you love for yourself. Anything that I want for myself, I want to make sure you have it as well. I want to make sure the next person has it as well. So just being true to yourself, being true to God, and loving for your brother what you want for yourself. Hamza Abdullah.
former NFL player, American Muslim. Thank you for joining us here on BBC Thank News. Thank you very with much. Thank you for your time. of Muhammad Ali. Yes, Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. it very much. That's Hamza Abdullah, just the latest person to join us here on BBC News to talk about the impact that Muhammad Ali had on him as an African American, as a Muslim, as a professional sportsman. Uh, just the extraordinary life of Muhammad Ali, his activism, his sportsmanship, uh, just so many, so many memories just flooding out here in Louisville. And you can see where we have those pictures there of Muhammad Ali's casket is inside that car, which is now going through the streets of Louisville. These are the streets that he grew up in. These are the streets where he rode his bicycle, where he learned to box, where he shadow boxed. These are the streets which when he was growing up where segregation was legal, when African Americans didn't have the same legal rights as whites. And he suffered that discrimination, Muhammad Ali, uh, when he came back in 1960 from the Rome Olympics. He was refused service in a restaurant here in Louisville.